Mm. Hey guys, what's up? Um, an hour ago, I just returned home from watching Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3 and my favorite, Regal Deer. Thank goodness. Um, um, thank goodness, because <laughs> that, that the, um, my dance there is way better. Um, I don't know when it comes to regal theaters. Okay, anyway, it here's my review. Um, not gonna spoil much of it because um, going um, judging by the um amount of uh, how crowded it still is. Um, I'm gonna say that it's there's a lot of people who are still seeing the movie or haven't got a chance to see it yet. Anyway, um, I'm not gonna say much, but here's my review. Um, well, basically, here's my story. Here it goes. Um, but first off, this was like a last minute thing. Well, <laughs> well, last minute mention. Because, um, first thing this morning, I was still in, um, I was still in the mood of, in the mood of not wanting to do this, uh, I kind of still didn't want to deal with work and all that. And then, um, crazy thought popped into my head about the movies. Been wanting to go for a while. And I'm like, okay, today is the day that I really needed to go, even though I don't have the amount of money that I usually have to go and the usual amount that I would have to spend there. Because for two people, I make sure I have about a hundred or more, and for like four people, I make sure I have like two hundred because um, it's more f like not only there's tickets you gotta buy, but it's also more fun of a experience when you like get the snacks and you play at the arcade and not just go there buy the tickets and you know and sit there now um there's more excitement when you um um just you know go there and enjoy the moment anyway um but this was kind of like a this is kind of something that I knew that I just finally needed to do. It's been way too long since Titanic. Although, even though my review says a different story, but really, um, at the different regal, it was not the best experience ever. Like, if if Regal 12 ever had a chance to play Titanic in 3D, I would definitely go for it because I want to have a better experience in it. So, anyway. Well, first off, I gotta mention about this. Like, I did not notice this till I, get home. I got home. Like, there's a, like, a Regal, um, membership ad, and, let's, uh, let's just say there's some, like, there's a particular actor in it that I know who, where, uh, holds, like, a soda that says Pepsi Zero Sugar, and when I saw this, I'm like, what? And I look at it, and I look at it. And then I see this, and I'm like, that's new. That looks pretty cool. 
who knows why. Um, yeah, um, today because of how last minute it was, well, me saying it, like I said, I had this idea like probably first thing this morning, which actually made my mood better. Um, because instead of driving to work, I, well, first I was in that mood of not wanting to go because the day before, my mood was so foul that Rachel basically kicked me out of the salon, but today it was kind of like that and, um, I almost didn't go or it was kind of like that situation like yesterday that I got almost got kicked out that I would be kicked out but um, after doing laundry after taking a shower and then deciding to have a tissue roll pop um, usually I st like store away some tissue roll pops <laughs> Which, thank goodness, um, um, good thing there's an orange flavor and a chocolate flavor because my red dye has been very bad. My reaction to red dye has been very bad. And, yeah, I felt like going because, not only because I was in a bad mood, but... The idea of going to see the movie, um, I needed the money, <laughs> yeah, 20 bucks wasn't gonna get me to get tickets and snacks, especially the fact that, um, nobody's not gonna want to go alone, so I needed to get it, I had to get a extra 20 bucks somewhere, so I went. But instead of going to the, go, going, you know, instead of getting a ride, managed to, managed, um, thank goodness it was, it was a walk because that made me feel so much better. Oh my god, I'm going way off track. Okay, back to the movie. Well, I think the, um, trail, the ads and trail thing kind of became an issue because at first they were playing the calls but then they officially said they're going to make some changes I did see the vacuum updates it's it makes me think of Ghostbusters <laughs> they have like little vacuum backpacks and like lawn and things but I think their trailer um, an ad issue, ad thing is kind of an issue besides the light bulbs on the ceiling. Those are still kind of worn out. But the ads, um, I don't think 15 minutes of playing video game trailers is going to be helpful. Because um, before they actually started playing movie trailers, before the movie, it was first the usual things that are playing before the trailers, but then it ended up becoming 15 minutes of almost 15 minutes of non stop game trailers. It was driving me insane. <sighs> driving me insane, like crying out loud. Like, I don't look at video games for a reason. Like, between movies and video games, I prefer to look at movies and get triggered by them, then be more affected by the video games. Anyway, I wish they had put the Meg 2 trailer in the list of trailers, 
It's at the game once. We saw the Little Mermaid trail, of course. Um, kind of seeing that everywhere. But, yeah. It is coming out, so. I saw the Flash one. It kind of ticked me off because it was not, you know, Henry Superman. So it did tick me off a little. But I kept my mouth shut. And Furious X, that got me excited. Uh -huh. As for Guardians of the Galaxy movie, my god. As soon as the movie started playing, I was ready to cry. I was ready to start <laughs> crying. And usually movies do not make me do that. This movie, throughout the whole thing, was just so emotional. Action epic and all that. But it was extremely emotional. I really thought that um, certain things were really going to happen. Um, and I really love the songs that they picked. I got so many classics. It's wow. Oh my god, it's so. It, oh my god, it was insane. I didn't even touch my drink throughout the whole thing. That's why I know that, um, I don't even need to get large drinks anymore. That smalls are uh, better. Because the movies are getting, like, so great. Although sometimes they are effective. But, yeah, even though some of the effects are affected, triggering, they are just getting better. Like, story plots, characters, music choices, it's just getting better. I probably didn't even touch the popcorn until like the very end. So yeah, I was just non-stop staring at the screen and most of the emotional parts I did my best not to you know not to show how emotional I was getting <laughs> my god um if you're really the um if you're the type that like, cries immediately you probably will want to wait until either this less people in the theater or wait till it goes on DVD because it's a very emotional thing like Rocket's um, background story is just so it's just so sad and it's painful to watch and um, the way his friends interact with it all it's so, oh my, it's so, oh jeez, so strong, it's so strong, and, oh my god, it's hard to explain, jeez, I can only see it in my head. And I really don't want to explore it, but the part that I see in my head is, oh my god, I keep forgetting Chris Pratt's character's name, but oh my god, it's just how intensely emotional he gets when, at those moments, at that moment, that rocket, like, ugh, jeez, be like a tense, my god, I was about to, oh my god, especially with everybody's reaction over the communicators, when they hear rocket's voice, 
like I said, I don't remember their names except Root. That um that blue girl I wish I knew their names. It's so embarrassing that I don't know their names. Her the way she reacted with tears when she heard um Rocket's voice over the communicator. I wanted to cry so bad. I was like on the edge of crying. I was like biting my hand insanely and I was like trying to hide it. Oh my god. I was like biting my hand. I was shaking. Oh it was just so emotional like ev like everything about what was happening to Rocket his memories and everything it was just so emotional and intense and you're and if you're really easy to like cry to something sound you're gonna cry at every single moment about it cause that's how insane it is. <laughs> it's just that insane. But it is an epic movie. It's so epic. Uh, God. I think I'm just gonna leave it at that for now. Um. I think the only thing I didn't like, or at least didn't understand, well one thing's for sure, I did understand that this happened after Adventures Endgame because his girlfriend, um, personality and everything completely backfired to, well, as he described being a complete dick. <laughs> um, if anyone has either watched the movie or seen the trailer, you will probably know what I mean by that. Um, I don't know, there was a few moments that I was not happy with the changing character of her, of of his old girlfriend but you know that's what happened <laughs> made me think of the flash you know like how he made flashpoint and it changed many you know many people's lives and their personalities and stuff it kind of happened with his girlfriend um the green girl. Uh, I hate doing that. I really wish I remember their names. Anyway, um, yeah. I think that was the only thing I didn't like. I feel like they were over dramatic with her, her change of personality. I'm probably just saying that because I don't remember the previous. Guardians of the Galaxy movies. Or I just didn't watch all the Marvel movies in order. Mm -hmm. But yeah, that was kind of the only thing that bothered me. Um, um, this is indeed a very emotional movie. <laughs> Oh god, this video is going so long. Um, I'm gonna end it. I'm gonna end this video right now. So, hope you guys have a nice day or night. Like if you like this video. Leave a comment if you want to. And, good night. Bye.